before I say anything, let me just say, I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I'll explain. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. What's good with y'all, man? I guess... I shouldn't have to ask you guys how you feeling. I'm pretty sure your chest is frustrated as I am with the season. Um, I wanted to apologize at the beginning of this video for a reason. Um, you know, I'm one of the most optimistic fans you're going to find. I am. You know, um, I don't apologize for being optimistic. I'm not about to change. If you come here for my positivity, then keep coming. You know, I've lost a bunch of subscribers since yesterday's loss. Probably because I blew up yesterday. I apologize for that. Got out of character. I was frustrated. And I'm not a man that's too big to say I was wrong. I was wrong. I ain't saying I ain't mean some of the stuff I said. I'm, I shouldn't have handled it like that. So I apologize. Um, I also apologize for anyone that feels like I somehow led them astray. It's not my intention. I intend on being... A voice of the people. As I refer to it as the voice of the people. I mean what I say. I really did think we would win. I feel like we said we still have some of the most incredible players in the NFL. I say that without blinking or stuttering. I love our players. Everyone. Even the people that like people don't want Zeke here and D Law and Amari Cooper and they want Dak gone and they hate McCarthy and Tired of Kellen, and we're going to get to that because we ain't got nothing but time. About nine months to be exact. Plenty of time to talk about what went wrong, what will fix it, drafts, coaches, etc. I even break off the draft hat because um, it's that time. <laughs> it's that time. It's draft season. Um, and we're going to get to that. We are going to get to that. I really just wanted to give you guys a sounding board. You know, I would love for y'all to let me know y'all true thoughts a day after, after the media cycle, after the clowning, the laughing, um, the haters telling us that we don't know nothing and, you know, saying they love Cowboys fans crying or they, they, they you know, everyone is getting they, you know, getting their rocks off and I'm good as far as that. Like the haters don't bother me. Um, I don't like personal attacks. I don't like people attacking none of my subscribers. Talk about me. Don't 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 go at people in my comments. You know, that's what moderators are for. If you attacking people personally and calling them stupid and everything like that, you're just gonna be blocked or removed. And that's you. If you wanna come at me crazy, so be it. But don't attack my subscribers like personally, because I'll block you or remove you myself if I see it. But um It's a long year, man. And it's a lot of questions for us to answer. You know, it looks like McCarthy is staying. They confirmed that today. Um, Dan Quinn looks like he's gone. Denver will be here tomorrow. They're probably going to put him on the jet and take him back with him. They're interviewing Kellen Moore, too. I don't know how that works. I guess it's a formality. you got to interview a certain amount of people. Um, I don't see Kellen Moore going to Denver. I do. I wouldn't be mad if Kellen Moore took a job, though. I really would love to see this offense with another offensive coordinator with some new concepts. Literally stepped away from the Rams game to make this video. I watched them march down the field, similar to what the um, 49ers did to us, and score with ease with their stars, utilizing their stars, finding ways to get the balls to their stars, um, finding ways to get the ball to Cooper Cup, trusting Odell Beckham on a fade, trusting Matthew Stafford to throw a fade, just things like that, man. Like, I want to see some of that stuff. And I see shades of Scott Lenahan and Kellen Moore, and I'm just tired of it. I know that's Dak's friend. But ain't nobody without fault, man. Dak got to be better. This whole team got to be better. Even Dan Quinn's defense got to be better. Because although some of the no calls yesterday, like the, the offsides and things like that, um, was egregious, some of the actual calls that were called were legitimate. So as much as we mad at the refs, 
And I understand a lot of the frustration with the Cowboys fans is not the calls that were called. It's the non-calls of the other team. But the fact of the matter is, ain't nothing we probably ever going to be able to do to change it. It just ain't. So we got to find a way to defeat it, or I guess we'll always be frustrated. But not to talk about the refs, it's just it's a lot that's got to be fixed, man. A lot of questions. Like, you know, if Dan Quinn's gone, who's going to be the D coordinator? Is it Fangio? Is Edwards moving up? Would they consider, consider Zimmer? You know what I'm saying? If Kellen's gone, who's going to become the new coordinator since McCarthy's still here is Nussmeyer going to get elevated is McAdoo going to slide into that role are we going to get rid of Joe Philbin Jerry moved his interview today that you or three day interview that he does tomorrow to later in the week I feel like there's something to do with that either it's just he's too emotional right now he don't want to get on radio or there's something behind it and I would love to see the next couple of days, y'all know Dallas Cowboys news is fast and furious, and it comes all the time. I wouldn't even exist if this is another team. Some teams just go for weeks on there with nothing. We're blessed enough that it's something happening all the time. So it's going to be some things happening. There's going to be fallout. We have plenty of things to discuss, and I just want to, I know I apologize to y'all, but I want to thank y'all. I want to thank everybody that's still rocking with me, everybody that understands that I'm a fan too, and as positive as I am, I can get emotional, I can... That's the realness of this channel. So I'm not taking that video down. I want it to be there to let people know if they do happen across that, oh, this dude just real. Because I am. You know, if you ever get the, <laughs> the chance to meet me in real life, you'll be like, you just like you are on the videos. I am. A lot of people that I went to college with, a lot of people that know me personally, they watch the videos. And they can tell. If you ever know any of them, like, yo, is he like that in real life? Nah, that's him. No punches is pulled, you know, but there's so much going on, man. You know, thoughts going through my head of, are they going to say that Dak was hurt all year? It, or is it going to be stories popping up of the shoulder? You know, is it going to be, well, you know, his ankle was never fully healed, the calf bothered him. Are they going to throw damage control out there? You know things like that are coming. Zeke came out today and finally kept it funky about his knee. Not sure why he couldn't have just said that, you know. Zeke already was been slowed down, but he could have just sat down. The fact that they didn't use Tony Pollard properly, like we got amazing weapons, and with an offensive coordinator that just can't get the ball to them, you can hate Dak all you want to. But scheme is scheme. If they can find ways, Dak can complete a pass. Like you can, he's not like in foul. Like, like he can get the ball to the players if the scheme's right. But the, just if you just look at our offensive scheme, there's no quick game. No slants, no motion, no, just, it's just very, very mediocre. And the times that we do win, it's just because our talent wins. But when talent gets even with us and scheme has to take over, when it's bad talent, our talent can beat them with vanilla schemes because we have assembled amazing talent. But when talent meets us eye to eye, our scheme fails. I don't know. There's so many questions, man. Y'all let me know some questions y'all got this offseason. It's everything from contractual stuff to coaches to, like I said, we got a lot to talk about. We do. But I just wanted to, you know, apologize to y'all. Tell y'all, I, like, I appreciate y'all, you know, and just say, you know, please use this video as a sounding board, you know, because we all got to grow. I got to be better just like the team got to be better. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for rocking with CFT. We're going to be better this year. Peace.